Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Last time, we got to go to school. And we got, um... We got lectured by that guy who just walked out of the room. And, uh, we got an intercom announcement telling us to stay in our seats. That's interesting. That's really it. I'll admit, the beginning of this game is a little bit slow. Like, maybe the first hour. But then it really picks up. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean my Yumi Yamano, right? I heard oh yeah, she was on that news, right? Shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Ha, ah, typical high school gossip, I tell ya. Reminds me of my time. It was bad, man. Like, gossip was horrible in my school. Rumors yeah, always going around, and... Mind if I ask you something? A lot of, a lot of bullshit really happened. Not even necessarily to me in particular, but... Like, I know a lot of people who... got messed up because of, like, rumors and... Yeah, gossip. Pretty shitty, honestly. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, I didn't hate my time in high school, but... I mean, there were a lot of parts about it that I hated. I mean, I, there was a lot of good stuff too. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. It's it's tough. Honestly, going through I, going through high school can can be difficult. It can be. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know that thing about rainy night. Why is this game telling us things that we don't know about? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Now we're talking about soulmates. This game is getting weird by the second. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Whoa. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I what repeat. the hell? What's you going on in Inaba? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Um... I have a bad feeling about you this. Why don't you come with us? Oh man, I'm already getting girls. It's oh, my first day of that? school. I'm Tia Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Duh. Well, nice to meet you. Howdy. Sexy thing. Oh! Yukiko Amagi. No, damn it. My girl is Gemini. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sorry that this is so I kid, I kid. Come on, don't apologize. And yes, I did just hit my wall. Like and no, there is no hole in it. So don't worry. I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Uh, oh, I'm Oh, it's uh, you again. This was really awesome. Like. The way he moves is just amazing to see. Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Uh, what? See thank Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a DVD. Oh. Oh, okay then. What the? I can't believe this. It is completely cracked. My what an asshole. Of the dragon. I think mine's cracked too. We're all get to the man. <laughs> We've all been there, loser. We've all been there. Oh, you could go fast. Are you worried about me? 
<laughs> he should get hit in the nads again. He's fine, Yukiko. Let's kick him and go home. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Usually he's in a lot of pain. Usually even be. You got that right. Ugh, like I want to get involved in his nut problems. Personally, I'd rather just stay out of it. You're ah! What you the fuck is that? Somewhere? Looks like a fucking frog or something. I... What? Who, who are you? Uh, she doesn't even know this guy. Okay. This guy's pretty What's creepy. Up with him? What school is he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. Well, he's got balls, I'll give him that. Out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Oh, so are, are you coming or not? Okay, before, before I hit the X button, how about we all just take a second to guess what her answer is going to be? Okay. Okay, fuck that. I'm not going. Whoa! Here I wrote yes is my final answer. Fine. Fine. What a whiny bitch! Run away. What, what did he want from me? He wanted to tap that what ass. What? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really <laughs> had no clue. <laughs> I guess Yukiko is one of those oblivious girls. Then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. That guy did seem kind of like a creeper. Uh, turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? God, what is, what is this guy fucking stalking us? What? Jesus. Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. Yeah, he got shot down by her too, huh? Sounds good to me. I don't recall doing that. Are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. Ha! <laughs> this fucking loser. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Yeah, get out of here. We're just curious cool. is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Huh? No problem, oh, I, I guess. Come on! Let's go! Everybody is staring! Gee, yeah, you should be like me and not give a fuck! All I'm saying. Who cares what people think of you? It's what you think about yourself. Fight the power! God, my commentary is making less and less sense by the minute. That's bad, man. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? It does look a little desolate. Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Oh, so there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or uh, pottery or something is kind of famous. Yeah, I've heard of the amazing Mount Yasagami dyed clothes and pottery. Oh, wait, there's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. So Yukiko owns an inn. Interesting. Oh, no way. It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Oh, well, that's Inna cool. It actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps the town going. Hmm. I don't think that's entirely true. She seems modest. So tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Um... Well, I can see why that guy wanted to tap that ass. <laughs> I knew it. Yes, I just face bombed. I did. Come on, don't the stupid things it. that come out of my mouth. 
She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Totally. Come on, stop it. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Um, all right. I, I wasn't really judging you. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Oh, so you're a lesbian then. Hey, T.A. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But this is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city and you barely said a word. Maybe she's just shy, T.A. Be accepting of that. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down the street... Wow! Who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. What are they talking about? Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed A dead up. body. Holy shit. A dead Wait, body hanging from the antenna? A dead body? That's crazy. I guess that must be the incident that we were told about at school. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, what's up, Pops? I'm just passing by, you know? Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. I'll go kick his ass. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. Well, I think we're getting along really okay, I think. wandering around and head straight home. What the? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's thrown up. Adachi, how long are you gonna act like a rookie? You wanna be sent back to the central office? Uh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, you little bitch. Go wash your Get up and go back to work. We're gonna go around and gather information. Nah, what a pansy. What that announcement was about? Whoa, I would have never guessed. What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. Yeah, this whole thing is pretty unsettling. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Okie dokie, Chie. So long. Two of them left. Decide to head straight home. Sure. Got enough of weird events for today. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Well, Nanako, you see, police officers are very busy people. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Huh. Interesting. A school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? Uh, I would imagine so. As Miss Mayumi Yamano, a oh. Yeah, we heard about her uh, yesterday on the news. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... The, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> well, Dojima's got his hands full on the case, I guess. It'll be alright, Nanako. Don't you worry about a thing! I Don't know. you worry about a thing! <laughs> the body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. How the fuck does get someone get stuck on an antenna by accident? A thick fog Come on. To the area has Let's be realistic here. And plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. 
It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasugami High School campus. The announcer, Miyumi Yano, Yamano, her affair with a local councilman's secretary, had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. That's okay, Nanako. I'll protect you. Uh oh. Well, I got her mind off of it quick. Ugh. Makes me think of my job. Ugh. Especially that shitty slogan. And that demon child. You're a good singer. Tee hee hee. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about that scary story. I uh, guess that's cool. And it's a perfect time to end the episode. I will see you guys next time for more Let's Play Persona 4. So long.